What's up, Blue Team? Welcome to Hacker Warehouse TV. I'm your host, Kelsey, and today we're gonna to be showing you something a little bit different. Instead of our usual red team shenanigans, we're gonna show you how to protect your wireless network with an intrusion detection system called WAIDPS, or Wireless Auditing Intrusion Detection and Prevention System. So if you're looking to protect your wireless network on a budget or your Wi-Fi from the kid next door, then this video is perfect for you. Let's beef up that security. To get started, we'll be using a software suite called WAIDPS by SciWorks. This tool is awesome. It basically leverages monitor mode and packet injection from your wireless card to act as a defensive and offensive security tool. To use this tool, we decided to use an Alpha AWUS 036 NHA, as it supports injection and monitor mode. Keep in mind, any wireless card that supports monitor mode, like your old Orinoco Gold, will work for what we'll be doing today. To get started, we'll want to download WAIDPS from SciWorks GitHub. However, before it can work, we'll want to make sure we have all the right dependencies. So in no particular order, you'll want root access for admin rights, Python 2.7, Aircrack in G Suite, Wireshark, TCP Dump, MergeCap, and Xterm. If you're running Kali Linux, you don't have to worry about any of this. All these dependencies come pre-installed with the operating system. Once you have your dependencies, go ahead and plug in your Wi-Fi monitoring card, clone the GitHub repository, and run WAIDPS as root. Once you run the script, WAIDPS will start scanning the area for nearby access points. Once the program is up and running, you'll see a colorful console showing you all the details of your Wi-Fi network. Before we can use WAIDPS, we should first understand what we're looking at. We can see several things going on here, so let's break them down one section at a time. Inside the top section, we can observe a list of all the seen access points with their clients. Information such as device ID, encryption type, and signal strength is depicted here. Below this section will be a list of clients that are not connected to any access points. And below that section will be a summary listing of everything that has been detected. Although we don't see two of the other sections right now, we will as we go along. There are sections that pop up in the console for suspicious behavior and detected attacks based on network anomalies. Some things to keep in mind is that the program will update every 30 seconds. This can be altered along with other settings by pressing enter to access the command menu. In the command menu, you can find things such as history logs, auditing capabilities, network filtering, and monitoring of other individual access points. Now that we have a basic understanding of how to navigate WAIDPS, let's start detecting attacks. The first type of attack that we should be concerned with are the WPA attacks. More specifically, WPA attacks with DAUTH packets. These type of attacks send deauthentication packets to an unsuspecting client to force a reconnect. During this reconnection, tools like AeroDump NG will then capture the four-way handshake. The attacker can then attempt to retrieve the pre-shared key offline at their own convenience. When this attack happens, you will see a red banner pop up in your console showing either suspicious activity or a warning for possible attacks. If you get a suspicious activity banner, you can quickly tell that this type of attack is happening by looking at the deauth section. For example, check this out. We detected deauth packets sent across the network and we can see exactly 112 deauthentication packets that were identified and sourced from a specific device. Either something is really wrong with that device or someone is trying something sketchy. If you happen to get a banner that says, warning, possible attacks detected, then there's a really solid chance that someone is attacking your network. Numerous details such as the device MAC address type of attack, what the attack did, and notes explaining the pattern recognition will be displayed under this banner. We can see that a warning was triggered for a possible attack, so let's see what the details are. Okay, so we can see right here that 31 deauth packets were received from a device trying to force one of our clients to reconnect. Now that's a lot less than what we just saw. And last time, it was only suspicious. However, we can also see that the MAC addresses involved were using a data pattern that matched an AirPlay NG deauthentication request. 
Yeah, that's not a coincidence. Someone is doing something, but we don't know exactly what they're doing or for what reason. When you have an attack like this, assume that your pre-shared key is now compromised. Unless you can physically grab the attacker's device, you can't really do anything about your key being cracked offline. Thankfully, all is not lost. You have a few options to resolve this issue before it goes from bad to worse, such as changing your existing password to something new and complex, start enforcing password expiration, require the use of certificates in the Extensible Authentication Protocol, or EAP for short, or utilize a RADIA server for authentication. These options can either prevent the cracked key from working or make it that much harder for a potential hacker to break into your wireless network. Another type of attack you can detect is an evil twin. These parent trap-esque attacks rely on forcing a client off your network, imitating your network with a bogus access point, and hoping your device will automatically reconnect to their network. WAIDPS will take note of any time a new SSID is made and warn you if it matches another one. We recorded an example of this attack so you can see. What we recaptured was the SSID Belkin.507D being broadcasted from two distinct networks. The first SSID shows that the clients are connected and that the manufacturer is Belkin International Inc. The other shows no clients and the manufacturer is unknown. This is a telltale sign of an evil twin and a bad one at that because they didn't even spook their MAC address. As for other attacks, WAIDPS can also detect WEP, WPS, and MDK3 attacks. Although these are not as common, it's still good to know that the program can detect them. In a similar fashion to the other types of attacks, WAIDPS will display a suspicious activity or warning banner upon identifying the attacks. Also, the console will outline the details of where the attack is coming from and how it identified the attack. As a side note, if you wanted to try some of these attacks yourself to test your IDS, you can access the auditing menu by pressing the enter key and then hitting A for auditing. Overall, Cyworg software WAIDPS is a very useful tool for the security analyst and hacker alike. Not only is this tool free, but it's open source with an abundance of documentation online. People who are not experienced with IDS will find this to be a great entry point to the IDS world. So whether you're looking to protect a small startup company, pave the way for a new DIY route, or just looking for a tool to fit your on-the-go consulting needs, WAIDPS fits the bill without the extra fees. Have you ever had your Wi-Fi network attacked? Has WEP ever made you weep? Let us know in the comments. And while you're telling your friend how bad their WEP network is, tell them to subscribe to Hacker Warehouse TV. Thanks for watching our tradecraft on building your own wireless intrusion detection system. We hope you take something away from this and it helps you protect a network in need. Once again, this is Kelsey with Hacker Warehouse TV, and remember, blue teamers, keep them between the laws.